Okay, I would like you guys to watch this video all the way to the end. And then those of you who've been watching my channel for long enough will probably recognize this tree. So I want you to give me an idea of what species of tree this is and comment on it. Don't read the other comments. I want you to test yourself. I'm going to do this more and more. Those of you who really want to learn about trees need to test yourselves. So what we've got here, I'm not going to tell you the species. What we've got here is, well, let's call it a basket case tree. And I run into these situations quite often. This client wants to keep the tree. I said it was on its last legs, but I said that about five years ago too when I looked at it. They said, do the best thing that you can and keep it as safe as you can. So we got up there and lightened up every section. And, but I, I really want you to look closely at, at what I'm seeing up here. This is uh, a situation that you find in some species of trees that will really shorten their lives. And it, it's all associated with past pruning. Look at this. We've got a cavity here. I put a stick down there and it gives you a better idea of just how deep that hole is. So the tree was full of broken limbs. It was full of limbs that were just hanging up there. And there was a lot of this kind of stuff. I want to give a little shout out to uh, a company that I really like. It's MaxiFlex Gloves. I'm not getting paid. This is not a sponsorship. I wish they would sponsor me, though. I love these gloves. They're great for climbing, but not good for using the ropes for lowering. But check this out. This is just decay everywhere. I mean, the tree was full of, of termites and carpenter ants and, and fungus and rot, but it still leafs out. The people want the shade. They're an older couple. So what do you do? You know, you, you, honestly, I would say start over, but they haven't got that much time left in their life. Uh, by the way, the tree was full of squirrel's nests. And when you top a tree and it sends out all these new shoots, it makes a perfect place for a squirrel to build a nest. All right, so look at this tree. I mean, the leaves are a dead giveaway. Oh, while I was up there, I had this happen. Chain came off, which is good reason I've got a scrunch up here. I don't know if you saw that in another video, but I mounted one up there. Here's some of the squirrel damage. First off, the tree is rubbing on the telephone cables and the cable TV cables, but look at all the squirrel damage. Squirrels are horrific for damaging wires. They chew on the aluminum, they chew on the, the casing, this is kind of interesting. It was right across the street. I saw this low limb and a garbage truck was coming. I thought, oh, it's going to hit it. So I got the camera out. It looks like this branch gets hit repeatedly, probably by the same garbage company, maybe a different trucks, but it was all banged up. And it was, I mean, it was a millimeter away from this, tr this tree. Here's something interesting, just popped right off. A lot of this is happening up here. A lot of these branches are so dead and so rotten. You can see that decay goes all the way down into the main stem. There's cavities, there's holes. Yeah, this tree is a basket case. And what is the species? Come on, I've talked about this tree so many times. If you guys follow this channel, you must know what kind of a tree this is. There's too many clues. It's losing its leaves right now. It's a fairly large tree. Oh, look at this. There's more squirrel damage. That's where it's chewed all the way through. I think the uh, power companies and the telephone companies, look at that. There's, there's a story there. Somebody screwed up with a chainsaw. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Everywhere you look, it's a mess. I'm just kind of yammering on here so you guys can get a better look at this. Bad cuts, old cuts. There was a hawk up there that was being taunted by a big flock of crows. And then later on, the flock of crows um, all 
amassed into a tree. This is interesting. You can see where this was cut before and you can see the resulting new sprouts. All of these sprouts came off of that one old stub cut and the tree survived, but all that added weight went out there. It was a multitude of new pieces. So a lot of you guys have been following my channel for many, many years, and I appreciate that. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my channel and the direction that I'm trying to go with it. I really want to educate people about the differences in trees, species of trees, as well as what happens when you prune a tree, what happens long-term to tree wounds, decay, all those sort of things that we as climbers have got to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if you're not a climber, if you're a homeowner and you have trees and you want to learn more about your trees, what I'm saying in this channel can help you out immensely because a lot of these things you can actually see from the ground. You can project what may happen and it takes really concentrating and looking closely at the trees. You know, I, I talk a lot about uh, uh, dissecting trees and opening up wounds so that you can see the insides of these pockets of decay. So put your idea down. I, I think you guys probably have a, a good guess as to the species of tree that I'm talking about here. Um, read the other comments after you put yours down and, and I'm sure you'll see enough of them that'll tell you which variety of tree that is so problematic. And we run into this all the time. So finally, hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, please. Hit that little bell, hit that little, you know, like button, but always send me comments. I really like the comments. I try to answer as many of the comments as I can. Neighbors are shooting the guns. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot.